Greetings, everyone. This will be the first episode of the Fandom Collective podcast posted onto the YouTube channel. For a while now, we've been recording some content over on Anchor and Spotify with our host, Fallon Reacts, being the main host of the show and having these episodes quite consistently. We're already midway into season two of this podcast show, and we're now going to be posting them onto the YouTube channel as well. But if you want to catch the episodes far earlier, the main episodes for the podcast are uploaded to Anchor many hours ahead of time. And we'll be trying to have a consistency on when we post them over here. We've so far been able to record quite often on the podcast, so we're going to upload them here. And also make sure that you give Fallon a follow and a sub on her social media, which I'll link in the description below. And I'll just shut up for now, and y'all enjoy the podcast. Have a good one. You are listening to The Fandom Collective, your sub source of information in entertainment, Hollywood and pop culture with your host, Fallon of Millennial Me. And I am joined by my co host, the rookie critic. This time, we are going to be talking about the conclusion of the Evil Knievel versus Disney trial. All right. So let's talk about this. So, Evil Knievel tried to sue Disney over the whole Duke Kaboom trademark case. And a judge dismissed it that was filed by Evil Knievel's son over the Toy Story 4 character, which is played by Keanu Reeves. Um, and they had said, while there were similarities, it was not copyright infringement. What do you think, Rookie? Well, I first had to Google who the heck Evil Knievel was. <laughs> and when you sent me the name, I was like, Evel... Nihevil? I've never seen that spelled before, so I was really struggling on <laughs> what the heck you're talking about with that. But I was like, okay, Evil Knievel. I look, and I didn't know who that was anyway. I looked it up. Okay, the 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 guy with the motorcycle that always people always reference with, like jumping <laughs> over a. He's the guy that, like jumps the shark, right? Basically, or something. He's that or guy. Or into fire. He was a stunt man. Okay, I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so his kid. So there's a, a character Disney owns. Okay, he... uh, okay. Duke Kaboom is the uh, Toy Story Four character, and while he was similar, he did not have the same outfit. He did do stunts as a toy, but he did not have the same name. He did not have the same physical um, look. But you can obviously tell he was inspired. And there's nothing wrong with having characters inspired by real-life people. Okay, I'm looking it up right now. Okay, yeah, Duke Kaboom. Yeah, if anything, I've seen... I'm sure I've seen plenty of parodies of uh, Evil Knievel over the years. Yeah, so it's like, why go after this? It's not like they were directly taking this. Like... Uh, it was pointed out, like, uh, Kaboom's got a, mu um, a handlebar mustache, while uh, Evil Knievel, he was very clean-shaven. Yeah, he's very, very clean-shaven, has his little crazy hair, uh, his mm -hmm. helmet hair over here. Yep. And I was like, on one hand, I can understand if they, they felt a little bit slighted, like, that they weren't approached. I'm guessing that's why. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's interesting because this type of thing makes you think into, well, what what qualifies as copyright or what is something mm -hmm. that anybody could call you on? And just looking at it, uh, Evil Knievel, what's his shtick? What, what's unique about what he does? He rides a motorcycle, which a lot of people do. It's, he doesn't own that type of mm -hmm. thing, right? Anybody can ride a motorcycle. Uh, He's a stunt he, man. Yeah, he's a stunt man. Okay, um, his look, I guess, but I don't know about that. Is this uh, w was this look around before at all? Like the type of uh, how outfit he's wearing, the uh, helmet and everything. Or would, is there a certain shtick he does that's just unique to him? Or been around yeah, for a long time, I assume. It's like he does stunts. If you're looking at the two of them. He doesn't have any black, uh, red, white, and blue look like uh, Evil Knievel did. He's actually, um, and he, he has Canadian everything. Red and white Canadian everything. 
Are you talking about the one in the Toy Story? Yes. Yeah, Whereas, and, and, I'm, and I'm assuming that his personality is more showboaty. Like, you know, hey, what's up, ladies? And it's probably more Elvis-inspired, I would imagine, just knowing Toy Story. Yeah, yeah, it's probably larger than life. Yeah, as for Evil, evil Knievel, I can't, just looking at him, I can't imagine how he sounds, really. Just, uh, you know, hey, gonna do a trick now, watch. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> he uh, attempted more than 75 ramp-to-ramp -ramp motorcycle jumps. And he was put in Motorcycle Hall of Fame in 1999. Uh, he passed away in 2007 at the age of 69. Okay, so his son is making the claim against Disney for... Yes, saying the copyright infringement. But everything I'm seeing, no. Uh, it's inspired, in my opinion. It is inspired. Yeah. And so it's like, I can understand if they felt slighted that there was too much similarity. But even, even then, I don't know what, how. How do you have rights to that? I don't understand. Like, it's not like your dad was copyrighted. It, it, that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like if I were, if somebody were to, uh, let's say, dress like Elvis, have an Elvis toy, or Elvis looking mm -hmm. toy. Like what? Yeah. The copyright that I I can't imagine that being a thing for copyright because that doesn't really make any sense. Toward yeah, unless it is. was for a specific Elvis movie. Uh, yeah, if it was for a movie, yeah, I could see that being like a main thing. But this is like yeah, just a, toy, as... a, a toy that's around. It's you know, not even a main character. It's right, mm -hmm. right, right. So yeah, it's like it's just it's more. Of a, it's just kind of a reference, if anything. Oh yeah, I, I agree. And Elvis's look, there were a lot of guys who mimicked him. So. I honestly think that this might have been a bit of a cash grab. Oh, yeah. Definitely because possible. I'm not saying it was, but it could very well have been that. I can, under I can understand both sides of the discussion that's, that was had, but the judge had said after a year that he just dismissed it. it there was no grounds. Because like you said, it's like you can't really copyright but there are celebrities who have copyrighted their image, as in Reba McIntyre. She copyrighted her image, so you can be sued if you do any art of her without her express permission. Okay, I mean, that seems to be a very specific thing that doesn't happen that often. Except True. As far as I could tell, you can make a drawing of anybody you want, and that drawing... See, I think even that would be questionable, even the Reba thing. Because mm -hmm. if you make something technically like it it's yours you've made it you're you're able to do what you will with it because you've made it mm -hmm. like if you claim it's authentic approved so, yes yeah, there's lines in it but if you're like hey this is my fan art i'm going to sell my fan art of this thing and I don't the think reason that, I, I know I doubt, about i doubt this. she'd be able to do anything but i don't know i haven't looked into actually, it actually she can i could be wrong um, but. um i'm not going to name names but there was a hospital that um was supported by her and they they had a painting done for her to put in a wing of the hospital she oh well, she lost well that's it. well that that's actually that's quite different than what i was kind of referring to that i can see there being problems there in general because it's like that's on display that's on that's on a public building on display uh for stuff which i, I don't know it is it's technically just a piece that sits there, but it's, mm -hmm. yeah, I could see that being an issue if it's of a person. If it's, like, of a painting of a landscape or something, I don't, I don't know how there'd be that much of an issue with that. It's just sitting yeah, but, on yeah, a wall. Yeah, it had her then, image on it. But then again, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not an artist, so I don't know how touchy things like that are with people, with, with artists, if their stuff just sit on a wall, if, they, if there's compensation for that specifically, but... I yeah, know. we probably need to talk to a lawyer over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I just assume that it's like it. Like if I were to draw, you know, The Rock or somebody, and then if somebody wanted to, you know, have that piece or something, I, I don't see why you can't sell it. I don't, I don't understand why you, like, why, how anybody could claim property ship over something that you drew or that you created because it's well, like yeah, it's of their image, but you're not. Like, you're not going, this is the official it, it, thing. It's just, this is my, it's known to be the fan art. It's not the, like, official painting. It's not the, 
Renaissance okay, or something, so you know. Fan art you cannot sell legally with um there's a whole mess of because people can't sell fan art. You will get sued for it. Uh it's one of the reasons why, like, you know, I love playing Destiny and I like to draw. Well, any drawings I made of um Destiny 2, I could get sued for. People who have gotten in trouble on Etsy for making Destiny 2 kind of fan art, fan products, and tried to sell it. You will get sued. You will get in trouble for that. Um, even with celebrities, you have to be very careful. You have to have express permission from my understanding. Hmm. I feel like there's got to be some, some type of specific quantifiers for these things because... Uh, like deviant art, for example, I, you know, there's a lot of stuff that gets drawn on there, and uh, mm -hmm. that people uh, draw things and and make. I don't know. That's a. I think it depends on. I would just think it depends on what it's used for. Like if it's just simply somebody drew it and then they sold that. I just don't. I can't see how they'd be able to claim it. Like like you said, yeah, if somebody drew um... if, if somebody drew something from Destiny and sold it, I don't see how they'd be able to say no. You can't because it's. Our thing and be like, well, it's like it's it's a fan thing. It's not well it's not sold as the official. I don't. It. Yeah, but I think probably the people we would need to talk with about this very specific topic is say McKinney, um, or McKinney. I apologize. Yeah, some some of the some of the artists <laughs> in our community. Yeah, we know lots of artists. James so Clark. Might, might that, that might be a, this, this might be a good this might be a good discussion to have for future episode. Bring a couple artists on and talk about the like legal stuff that comes with art we'd also maybe try to see if we can uh discuss it with a lawyer <laughs> somebody that understands about with copyright infringement with uh celebrity celebrity images and, yeah well, i mean we could look up like, cases and stuff as well see if there's any else any other ones that exist and see what happened with those could be fun to go through oh yeah because like, yeah, we kind of we kind of went off of of the evil Knievel thing and onto this. It kind <laughs> way, of relates but, to but it. it. No, I'd, it I'd say of... it, it it directly relates. I would say because it's a, it's a celebrity's image and like I would just think mm -hmm. you know I don't I, I still don't see how you'd be able to claim it. I mean, if anything, I, I like at best I could see where maybe he could get some type of extremely small royalty, extremely small. Mm -hmm. But not I don't even know because it's his kid. It's not even him. It's his kid. I, I, yeah. don't think, I don't know if the kid will be able to claim that. I don't know if that makes as much sense. Like even like when Carrie Fisher is was dead, and then like mm -hmm. her her daughter or something. I I, I, I think uh, it was her uh, daughter that uh, her family approves her use in the Rise of Skywalker or something. I don't know if that's the specifics of it, but it's like I, I don't know. It still isn't up. It still isn't up to her. This actually can kind of relate to the whole Marvel situation, where the as uh, the heirs of um, Marvel artists and some of the remaining artists are tr doing a cease and desist on Marvel Cinematic Universe. You can, as a heir or a, the manager of the estate of uh, someone that uh, was a celebrity and passed away, decide about certain things. Like Tolkien, he has an estate and they're the reasons why long after he passed away, there were still books coming out, unfinished well, works. Well, right, but an estate is specifically meant to handle stuff after they're gone, right? I assume, or yeah, and and sometimes it can be a manager of some sort, or it can be the child. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I'm I'm not saying that it that they can't legally. I'm just saying, I you know, it's like would you know the person's dead? They didn't have a choice to say that they could do it or not and then it's like the kid's like ah oh, well i'll make that choice it's like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's still kind of iffy to me to allow that yeah, uh, as well maybe it's like, yeah, it's mm, like like if they i'd say if they had a contract before their death that was like hey i'm totally cool if my if these certain people approve these certain things or something mm -hmm. to be you know use my likeness after i'm gone that'd be something yeah yeah i, I can't i i understand that yeah, and then it's like, what, like, how, how does it work with, let's just say, toys in general, where it's like, let's just use like a Han Solo toy or something. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's technically Harrison Ford's likeness, but it's of that other character. And yeah, it's but like, there what is, is that? What is that? What's that? <laughs> but, 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 
Um, Han Solo is a uh, Lucasfilm property. And I think the difference between that example and the whole Evil Knievel, this was the person. Um, when you're looking at a Han Solo toy, this is not Harrison Ford specifically. Um, whereas the Evil Knievel was the man, was the stunt man, was the uh, guy that tried to jump hundreds of feet across point to point A to point B. So I think that it's wildly different when it's a character, it's a property of a franchise rather than the Evil Knievel situation. But it's like, it's I don't know, still, it's just a, a toy that is on a motorcycle yeah, like this... it's just like <laughs> this is not this is not much grounds to claim that that's even evil knievel i mean i mean i, I could say sure but it's like i, I don't know this is kind of weird when it comes to copyright stuff as well sometimes people are like oh well, i'm the first one that did this type of thing so you know if you do this then that's the same but it's like i, I don't know that's it's very limited <laughs> in this type of thing yeah it's, I think we'll probably have to shelf this discussion once we have a broader like, group who I, is yeah in the in the thick of it. <laughs> I, I guess I'd I'd have one last thing. So it's like the outfit that he wears, that white outfit. Uh, like is that like again is that a common thing seen by motorcyclists? Like an outfit similar to that? Um, like a suit I, that he wears riding a motorcycle. At least, or at least when he did, because it seems like you know if that's a custom design for him you know maybe there's more merit there but if maybe. it's just like if it, if that type of look was common i, I he think really it's the era. nothing here i think it's the era because evil Knievel uh did most of his stuff back in like the 70s and 80s and duke uh, he's probably somebody that thought hey this guy is cool i'm going to be a similar looking character um i want to be just like that guy so Despite he is not clean shaven, he's got that handlebar mustache from the seventies. Yeah, uh, um, well, and, and uh, you you could say the the care the toy was a fan of. Well, him that's actually that, that's actually a good point too. Like you know, what if you're making something that they're literally taking inspiration, like the character yeah. is taking inspiration from an existing thing, like you know, uh, like even Emperor Zerg, for example complete mm -hmm. imitation of Darth Vader. Like, that's a right. full inspiration. They even copy a scene from that, I Am Your Father. Mm -hmm. that. It's like, would they say, no, you, that's copy from Star Wars? It's like, no. <laughs> that's, uh, it, well, I, that one, I would, I would argue, easily separates itself enough by being different enough, but still obviously doing an homage to it. Right. If, if that makes sense. It's like, it's, uh, it's not right, yeah. fully, it's not full, it, you, like, it's, there's too much differences to call it a copy or, or to infringe mm -hmm. on a copy. It's if anything, it's uh, you know, embracing that it's a beloved thing in culture. Like if anything, that'll just bolster the original thing that it's homaging. You know, and that's Agreed. what a lot of these are meant. That's what a lot of these are meant to be is like uh, an homage, which is why this being a Toy Story also, which seems to have lots of love for lots of franchises and toy stuff, mm -hmm. things for kids and family. It would be meant for positivity about it, not not a hit on it or anything, or trying to steal it. Right. right. It's like you know they're just like, hey, you know, remember for for those parents that are watching this with their kids, you guys remember this guy because kids aren't gonna know who the heck this is. But you know, maybe maybe you can get your kid. <laughs> maybe after the kid sees this, you, you can go, hey, you want to see what that toy was inspired by, and then show them Evil Can Evil. There you go. You're welcome. No copyright <laughs> right. needed. You can take inspiration from various sources and make a brand new thing and it's protected from copyright infringement so i honestly yeah, think, I, I guess, yeah, like <laughs> it's like oh yeah God. this this could go on for a couple of hours i'm sure we yeah, could i feel i feel, jury, I feel I, as far as evil can evil specifically i think i'm I think i'm done i <laughs> try, right? try, try to use as many type of things as i can to relate to this but it, it just kind of makes me want to discuss copyright stuff now in different ways because there's you know usually <laughs> usually i usually think about videos or music but this is like just simple likeness of imagery or of a person's persona or something. Oh, God. And I, f I feel like that would be a completely different video. Well, 
episode at least <laughs> but yeah, we, 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 going... we should we should we should try to put that together one of these days with some people <laughs> one of these days god we're gonna have to do a live stream for that one because there's a, i think a lot of people that we could bring on and discuss this with it'd be awesome that's true that's true but thank you everybody for tuning in and we will catch y'all on the flip side <laughs> <laughs>